Hi, friends. One of my subscribers is asking, could you please explain why low production of hydrochloric acid in the stomach can create acid reflux? Here we go. Quick anatomy, esophagus here, low esophageal sphincter, stomach, pillarus, small intestine will drain into a large intestine. Before we go for the detailed in explanation, you need to understand few rules of physiology. Here they are. Stomach makes hydrochloric acid to digest protein. Also hydrochloric acid will kill bacteria, viruses, and fungus. Number two, pH in the stomach when digestion starts, digestion starts will become two. At the same time, small intestine will have different environment. pH there will be seven. Next rule is pillarus opens and closes on concentration gradient, meaning it will get open only when pH seven in the small intestine created and pH two is created in the stomach. Both low esophageal sphincter and pillarus are muscles and they cannot stay contracted closed all the time. After about one hour, 30 minutes, they will become tight and can open a little bit. Now, let's go for the detail explanation. As always, I already pre-draw for us picture of digestive tract, mouth with the teeth, esophagus, low esophageal sphincter. This is stomach, pillarus, small intestine, liver, will drain into small intestine, pancreatic gland, P stays for pancreas, large intestine, and we go to the bathroom right here. As you look at the food, smell the food, prepare the food, parasympathetic system get activated and stomach will start to produce hydrochloric acid, HCl, which will immediately dissociate to hydrogen ion and chloride anion. This hydrogen ion will determine the pH in the stomach and it will be during the digestion when food arrives into the stomach will be two. At the same time, under the effect of parasympathetic system, liver will produce bile and pancreas will produce pancreatic juices. Also, brush border enzymes will start to work and digestive juices in the small intestine will be produced. They have different pH and they will affect pH here in the small intestine and it's going to be neutral, seven. You put the food here into the stomach and stomach start to produce hydrochloric acid. pH two is reached. pH seven is reached in the small intestine. That concentration gradient opens the pillarus. Food moves out of the stomach into small intestine. Because the food is acidic, so pH here in the small intestine immediately changed. It was seven. Now it's become six or even five. Pillarus immediately they get closed. Food here gets surrounded by liver juices, by pancreatic juices, and will be digested. And pH will start because of the uh, pH of those juices is, uh, is neutral. pH will start to move from, from five to six and back to seven. And pH seven eventually will be restored here in the small intestine. Food keeps moving here into the large intestine. More food arrives through the mouth and drops right here. Stomach have to pipe, pump more of hydrochloric acid and it will do that till pH two is reached. Two is here, seven here in the small intestine, pillarus opens, food moves in, pillarus gets closed. Now, we have a situation when the person does not produce enough hydrochloric acid for different reasons. It could be because stomach is just get tired and needs a little bit help. Maybe person um, take PPIs, proton pump inhibitors. They also will block production of hydrochloric acid. So what happens? You don't create 
TH2 here in the stomach. Remember requirements. You have two here and seven here in order to open pillarus. But if you don't have it, you don't create that two. So as a result, pillarus will remain closed. Food will stay here. And the more you eat, more food arrives. Stomach tries to pump hydrochloric acid, but not able. Pillarus remains closed. After one hour, again, rule of physiology, after one hour, 30 minutes, the low esophageal sphincter become tired, get open a little bit. You don't need to open it a lot. So as a result, food debris, hydrochloric acid, and pepsin will go right here into esophagus, will create inflammation, and that's your acid reflex. Guys, I hope that concept is clear. If you have any questions, please ask me, like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.